Hello beautiful people. So I really have a hard time remembering where exactly I stopped the vlog off at. So if this is the start of a new vlog, hello my friends. Welcome to a new Chill With Chill vlog. I forgot what day it was, but I know it was this week. And the next day I was supposed to come film some of my Sephora and Ulta pickups as well as go to the gym with y'all, right? Didn't happen. <sighs> so much so much first of all so glad i found an edge control that works but let me sit down i was just about to have y'all sitting right there so quick little story time if y'all are ogs and you already know that jack 1.0 jack is my car i'm jill he's jack jack 1.0 which it was a hatchback a nissan versa i loved jack 1.0 he did what i needed him to do he didn't have that many maintenance problems easy love that car unfortunately somebody ran a red light and ran straight into me thank god that i didn't have any injuries but it could have been way worse I say that to say i got a new car it's been about like two years maybe that i've had this car it's a volkswagen jetta so i love it it's a smooth ride it's definitely my speed in terms of like how it looks the exterior the interior i love it however i like to stick with nissans okay i'm not at the place in life yet where i can get you know bugatti you know i'm just not at that place yet <laughs> for the car that i really want to afford audi audi that's my my boyfriend i kept saying audi because he, he came with me this morning we were talking and i was like yeah there's an audi shop and he was like audi i think so he said audi Either way, those are nice. Like, that's definitely my speed. Lexus, y'all already know the Benz. Don't play with me. But we're not there yet, and that's okay. In the meantime, this Volkswagen, it's a great brand, and it's 2020. So, fairly new. The only thing I hate about Volkswagen is the fact that, like, they're made in Germany or Scotland or something. It's just a foreign car and their parts are very specific like if you have to get your brake pads changed which is something that i had to do it's better to get of course the brake pads from the manufacturer the brake pads and the rotor blah 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 i didn't know all that and i forgot when whoever told me about my brakes my dad got them fixed and they were still squeaking so i'm like what is going on like i don't like when i go to step on brakes and it squeaks i don't like that it didn't do that for a long time i bought new brake pads my dad got it fixed. I'm giving y'all a lot of information, but long story short, I had already went to the Volkswagen dealership this week to get, what did they quote me? My spark plugs. They were charging way too much. My tire rotation, which I'm going to discount tire, okay? Because the dealerships will upcharge for little shit like that. They'll upcharge for anything because I'll tell you. And then I got some other stuff done, like just some other maintenance stuff that I was like, whatever, just go ahead and do it. I would rather y'all do it and do it right and have not insurance what's the word warranty <laughs> warranty yeah you know what i'm saying i'll go right up there if anything's wrong cool my mom helped me pay for the spark plugs <laughs> thank god because i was like what the hell like why is it so much money but um which i was willing to pay i was ready i was willing but my mom she just be doing it sometimes she's so freaking sweet then i'm noticing the brakes are still squeaking so i'm like what is the brake fluid repair that i just paid for along with all this other mess why is it still squeaking? So I go back at this point, y'all. <laughs> the day that I got all that stuff taken care of, my boyfriend helped me. I cleaned out my car top to bottom. I mean, scrubbing. We went to Five Star Car Wash where they have like free vacuums. Back, and they have the best free vacuums, hands down. And wiped inside and out because they have that cleaner for interior exterior inside and out i mean honey there were no marks no marks no dust no nothing it's beautiful i love when my car is like that when i kind of just refresh it so hanging up on my rear view mirror i have a my tassel my graduation tassel as well as the guyana flag and i was just ready for the tassel to come off it was kind of too low it was hanging too low and the guy in a flag that i had up there would always turn sideways and i can't like i i just hated seeing it go sideways i used to always have to position it back it just bothers me so i just wanted to take them off of the rearview mirror girl i thought it would be easier to just pop it off 
because I'm like, well, I think that's what I did when I put it on there. So I go and I pop off my rear view mirror and I take this stuff off. You know, I'm cool because meanwhile, my baby is going, he's getting me some fresas con crema. And basically it's just strawberries and like whipped cream. I think it has condensed milk, it's so good. He was getting that. I was excited because I just got all that stuff done with my car, feeling very productive. I finished editing my vlog while I was there. I was cool girl my baby come back in the car i'm like oh i need help because i couldn't pop it back in the rearview mirror i was like i'll just have time to do it i'll just have him do it he comes back in and he helps me y'all the pressure he was applying to the rearview mirror literally made the windshield like my windshield crack a little bit i said oh my god I said, oh my gosh. I just had to sit there for a minute. I just had to sit there for a minute. My baby, bless his heart. He was so apologetic, but I couldn't be mad at him. My ass just popped it off. As he's trying to put it back on, I'm still worried about this Guyana flag being on there too. And as he's trying to pop it back on, I'm looking it up, like what to do and stuff like that. Everybody's using tools to pop it back on, all this kind of stuff. And as soon as I was like, I think it might need a tool. I need the windshield uncracked. I said, okay. I just made another appointment at the Volkswagen place because they have really good service there and they had texted just seeing if everything was okay and stuff. And I was like, actually, my brakes are still squeaking. And we just set up another appointment. I said, cool. I'll see about the rear view mirror when we go. <sighs> Bringing us to today, Friday, June 2nd. It's okay. It's the start of the month. Okay, not a lot can come from my motivation at the start of the month just because it's the start of the month. I don't know what it is about like just that restart for me and my brain. That first week of the month, nothing can come from my motivation. So I'm sitting there, I see my boy Chandler again. That's who I had the first time, very, very nice. So I went back to him. After another damn near three hour wait, I find out that just all this stuff about my brakes and rotors and basically he gives me this itemized sheet adding up to about 1774. <laughs> throw it out. <laughs> like, throw it out. I'm definitely not doing that right now. And one thing I will tell y'all, they kept trying to tell me about my tires and getting them aligned and stuff like that. A hundred and some dollars for that when I can go down the road to discount tire okay and it'll be just fine so i've been ignoring that and then the other stuff like the brakes rotors blah 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 is like 680 something dollars each and he, there's like the front and the back or uh, just throw it out don't show that to me chandler put it away put it away i don't want to see it and so I'm just like, yeah, I'm not getting that right now. Thanks. You know, I just needed to know how much it would be. I'm going to just stick with the squeaking. I said, is there any cost for the rear view mirror putting that back on? Oh, well, yeah, for their, just for the time, for the labor, blah, 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 blah. You know how they talk because there is a cost, I'm sure, right? He'll bring the car around front and he'll tell me like how much it is for the rear view mirror. I'm like, okay, cool. It better not be over 60. He's like, okay, ready for you to go. I go back up there to check out. And he's talking, he's talking like just about basically why the cost is what it is, is in my head. I'm like, you're just prefacing me for this receipt that you're about to show me. Like 189, y'all, he charged and he was nice. You know, he told me that if I come back and get my bricks and rotors, then, you know, he'll help me out with that price because they charged me 189 just for the time it took i guess and then popping back on the rear view mirror for me i said i didn't even think twice i said just let me put my card in are you ready for me to put my card in and pay because y'all obviously not letting me leave without <laughs> paying it and you just gave me this whole spiel to preface me for this. I said, whatever, because I am going to get the brakes and stuff repaired, just not right now. When I do come back, I'll show Chandler. I'll go straight to Chandler and I'm gonna show him all of that stuff. And I'm gonna say, you told me you would help me out. Remember my rear view mirror. I need to see something knocked off. 
that's why I really feel like they overcharged. I feel like they were just like, well, if you're not going to get anything that we just took time to look for then we're going to overcharge you a little bit for the rearview mirror and then on the flip side you know when you come back to get it done we'll knock some off i just said whatever i just said whatever because at the end of the day i'm not taking my car to no mom and pop shop like nothing like that for volkswagens and just for higher end cars all the different little parts and specs and things that it needs i just want to take it to the professionals you know what i'm saying because like i said at, the, at least that way it's a warranty and they know what they're doing because the first time i got my brakes fixed by whoever my dad brought it to they just did not do it right and he said that they probably just didn't know but for volkswagens you should change the brakes and the rotors and they didn't do that so all that to say y'all that took my entire morning i had my greens my creatine and my l-glutamine um, I had an apple. What else did I have? Oh, I had the rest of my little fudge brownie from Jimmy John's. That fudge brownie is busting, y'all. Oh, and I finished editing a second vlog. I said, I know that's right. I said, I know that's right. Uploaded, edited already. So I am now back at Breeze. End of story time. <laughs> Moral of the story, assert yourself, assertively communicate. Okay, ignore sounds that your car makes. And yeah, just make sure you go to a dealership for your repairs if you have a bougie car like mine. Oh yeah, Jack 2.0 is very much bougie, but I still love him. He's still great. He still does what he needs to do. All that to say, I'm a little tired, but I am still pumped to come to the gym. So it's Friday and I still have my Sephora and Ulta pickups here. Hi. I got some coffee to eat while I'm here because I'm going to the gym. And the only way I'm gonna make it through this leg day, oh, this lighting. The only way I'm gonna make it through this leg day is if I refueled myself. So this pita is like 1,115 calories. It's around there. I know it's at least a thousand calories. And then I added a few vegetables and things like that just to bring it up a few more calories and protein, right? And I got the pita wrap and I had a little reward. So I said, you know what? Money flows freely. It truly does. I was in a scarcity mindset at one point. I'm going to call it grind time. I'm going to just call it grind time. Whenever I refer to the time of my life where a lot of changes were going on, there was a lot of shit going on. 2019, basically up until now, I'm just going to call it grind time. So y'all know what I'm talking about. During this grind time, I have I was at a point where I definitely did have a scarcity mindset because I didn't have a lot of money and I wasn't making a lot of money. So I was just like, I was torn up because I had just gotten my first place. I was thinking everything's gonna be cool, calm, collected, but that's kind of when I decided to switch lanes. You know what I'm saying? It was a, it was just a whole switch that I decided to do in terms of my career and my active income. So there was a lot going on and I feel like I developed a very scarcity mindset. I was down and out and I had to really restructure the way that I viewed money. And it's just a growing process. So my point is, that that's kind of my view of money now. I don't really get super upset if I have to pay a, a really high bill or I have to just pay something off or, you know, whatever. Like, cause shit happens, literally things happen in life and you just kind of got to roll with the punches. And I believe that I mean, money is just paper, essentially. You know what I'm saying? I believe I have the capability for money to flow freely to me and from me. Comes and goes, honey. And something my dad always says is money may run low, but it never runs out. Which it do run out sometimes but it's 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 the mindset right to me when he said that i said okay that's fitting i feel you i feel you because you should you should have that mindset even if you were at a point where you were flat out broke couldn't do nothing couldn't even lift a finger because you might have to pay some of the bill you know i've been there and it's hard but i think having that mindset it's kind of like an affirmation you know you tell yourself it every day every hour if you need to just to make yourself believe it even if you don't at first you constantly telling yourself that money flows freely money flows freely it sounds corny and some people make it super spiritual you can if you want to but i just view it as a thing where it's like 
that's just my mindset because it's true money's just paper it has no value to me at least well it definitely has a lot of value i just mean like it's just material things we just need money in order to live in the environment that we're in there's so many ways to make money you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna stop talking because now my camera's hot and y'all know how this camera do but yeah y'all so i just wanted to update y'all on that i'm going to eat kind of finish some finishing touches on the vlog i just uploaded mm -hmm. so make sure you're subscribed post notifications on honey okay and then i'm gonna tune y'all in when we are going to the gym okay friends it's a leg day it's a leg day i haven't been to the gym all week it's a leg day i think it's full legs i don't know if it's glutes and quads i mean glutes and hamstrings i don't know just wait and see all right y'all debating bringing y'all with me just because i know y'all know i haven't been to the gym like i said in like three weeks at this point and i have been eating i've been making sure i've been eating still if you watch vlog number 11 that same workout that i did is the same workout i'm gonna do today so just to kind of compare i was going to bring y'all with me and do maybe kind of like a voiceover type of thing of me getting back into the gym because uh, that's usually like a funny thing to watch and it just shows that you take some time off and you go back don't get discouraged because it happens to everyone you know what i'm saying i got my energy drink in me but i'm not really feeling it as much i don't think i really like this one i don't have like a lavalier mic or anything and that's usually what i would want to have so y'all can hear me especially if there's somebody in there but if there's nobody in there then i'll definitely vlog and kind of be talking to y'all so y'all can hear me but if there is people in there i might not i might not vlog and do the voiceover but i might still vlog the workouts so i don't know let's just go see ah! Got serious, the meetings come through. I'm leaving by more. We swipe me. 
been keeping no word of this floor. I'm young and I'm turned, I got bitches to lure. My bitch, my will cost 250, I'm spurting. Got five million cash, just in case if you merging. My young niggas still get away, they be surging. It happen like this, I ain't do it on purpose. I'm working my move, nigga, who's on you working? I turned on my crew, bought a crew, bought for verses. I'm tired of these strippers, I'm pouring that dirties and dollars and dinners. You smarter, I finish. Sometimes I push myself to 25, 30, 35, 40, so on. Um, I not today. So my legs feel like jello. Before this back extension exercise, I tried to do my tried it true barbell hip thrust, y'all. I could not. Look at my little edge. But I be scrunching my forehead and stuff, so that's why it popped up. That's so funny. <sighs> yeah, I try to do my hip thrust. It's sick. <laughs> tried to do my hip thrust. I need to get some water. So I try to do my hip thrust into single legged hip thrust y'all i could not even get the barbell up i said don't tell me we're going back down to dumbbells i finally worked my way up back to the dumbbell i mean back to the barbell where it was easy even with 10 pounds added to each side i told y'all y'all see the footage i'm telling you the body is a it's an amazing thing I, I just i love it i love it now that nobody's in here i feel Whew, more comfortable to talk freely because I do want to be mindful you know of other people's privacy I didn't add this in here but I wipe everything down whether it's like a commercial gym or like your apartment complex gym like this wipe things down okay because people are so nasty there was only one other person in here so I liked that I had to use I mainly use the Smith machine and I tried to do them on here I don't like doing the hip thrust on there. I be pasting my little workouts right here. <laughs> or just in front of me, it's super easy. My sister put me on to doing it that way instead of bringing my whole notebook. Yeah, let me get set up. Cause we're gonna try it. We'll try it, we'll try it, we'll try it. before my camera dies is I wipe down my sweet sweat and we are calling it a day friends wipe it down wipe it down and I take my little Instagram photos so follow me there bye y'all
Hey friends, so we in the lab, honey. When I first got in here, there was a couple in here. So I didn't really want to film because I already told y'all this is small space. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody want to be filmed while they are working out. They gone, as far as I know. And I started off with the treadmill just because some of the equipment was taken up. So I did cardio just kind of by force. I did back extensions right after that. And now I'm about to go into my third set of my hip thrust slash single leg hip thrust. The last time I went to the gym, I did everything but my hip thrust sets because I was so tired. Over the weekend, like Friday, I got sick and I was just super, super sore. I really have to pee. So I'm about to finish this set. Actually, I'm just gonna set y'all down for a minute and go pee. Okay, we're back, relieved. So yeah, in here by myself now. Um, Friday, I came in, y'all already know that. I got through most of my workouts. I could not do those hip thrusts into single leg hip thrusts for the life of me. That same day, I don't know what was up. I got a little tickle in my throat. I was feeling under the weather. This whole side of my face hurt. I could barely open my mouth. I could barely chew. So on top of my throat being sore, just feeling under the weather from that, I also had this terrible toothache that would turn into like a headache. And there was just a lot going on because today is when I started my full-time remote job. So I'm kind of doing like two remote jobs at the same time. Today's when I start the full-time ones. It was just kind of a lot, but I'm feeling so much better, obviously. Y'all know when I feel any kind of tingle, I will get those immunity shots. I'm gonna start making like wellness shots because really that's all it is. That'll help my immune system. Cause I'm like, bro, I do all this shit for my immune system and my boyfriend immune system way better than mine and he do a lot less so i'm like where's the disconnect like what am i doing wrong so, you know at the end of the day that's just you know your body habits and things like that but i'm like dang so i'm about to finish these sets because i don't like having too much time in between my sets Instagram pics real quick. I'll talk to y'all soon.